his record, 41 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw, 32 wins by way of knockout, introducing to you the one and only Frankie Azuero Okay, your first lesson is going to be on the stance. Now, don't skip this lesson because understanding the stance will be crucial to everything you learn on boxing from here on. Now, if you're left-handed, I want you to do everything the exact opposite. If I say step back with your right foot and turn your right foot to the right, you're going to step back with your left foot and turn your left foot to the left. So, okay, feet about short width apart, toes pointed straight ahead. Take your right foot, step straight back, Turn your right foot to the right at about a 45 degree angle. The left foot could also go slightly to the right. Sit straight down, get on the balls of your feet. Make sure you have a gap between your feet. Don't put one foot behind the other because that gives you poor balance. If you look at that from the side, when I take that step back, I want the toes to my right foot to land just behind my right shoulder. Now, if I were to put it under my shoulder, just right under my shoulder, well, I've lost leverage and that reduces my power. So it's important to have it behind your shoulder. And now, if I were to put it too far back, now when shifting my weight from one foot to the other, uh, I have a greater distance to travel. Believe it or not, that takes just a fraction of a second longer to do. Now, that fraction of a second would be the difference between landing a punch and not landing a punch. So get it right. Get that foot right behind your right shoulder. Another thing I want you to notice when I take that step back. See my shoulders above my hips? So when you take that step back, keep the shoulders above your hips. This puts my weight more towards my back leg so I can shift my weight forward. That gives me uh, a little power in my, my jab. Now... If I were to do this, and a lot of fighters do, they have their shoulders up forward, up here. And what this does is put my weight on my front foot, so I can't throw my weight into the punch because it's already there. Another problem with this is I'm too close to my opponent to see his punches coming. Uh, I get headbutted more. So see that bend in my front knee? I'm going to take some of that bend out and share it with the back knee, squat straight down. Now I have perfect balance. And that's good, that's acceptable. A lot of fighters do that, and a lot of trainers teach it that way. Myself, I prefer to take a little more bend out of the back knee, putting my weight a little more towards the back foot, have a little more weight to throw forward. But more importantly, I'm at a distance where I could see my opponent's punches coming. I got a chance to block, block the jab, jab right, left hook. I can still slip punches, get under punches. And that's a good position to be in. So go ahead and practice that and come back. And we're going to learn how to move around an opponent and maintain the stance at the same time.